Now we're going to apply the spangled design to our garment. We want to make sure that we have our Nomex pad in place. That's going to ensure that we're going to get enough pressure from our heat press. We take our garment, we set it up here, and if the garment's wrinkled, we want to make sure that we press it for 8 to 10 seconds just to get the wrinkles out. The temperature that we have on the heat press is 340 degrees. We want to make sure that we're using a medium to medium heavy pressure. We're going to remove the cover sheet. And now we're going to place our design where we would like it to be. And we're going to heat press it for between 8 and 12 seconds depending on the material. At the duration of time, we're going to release the heat press. And now, we want to make sure that we get this glue distributed a little bit better. So we're going to take the corner of the garment and we're going to just rub this with our fingers to kind of spread the glue out a little bit. You could use the back of a spoon to do this. And now we're going to take this over to the table where we're going to let it cool down for a moment and peel it. We want to occasionally feel this. We want this temperature to be neutral. We don't want it to feel warm and we don't want it to feel cool. It's now at that temperature. Now we are going to carefully peel away the transfer. And now we will bring this back over to the heat press where we will press it for about another five seconds just to ensure now that we've peeled the transfer away that the glue is adhering properly to the garment. Now we take the garment back over to the heat press and since we've removed the transfer paper we need to cover this so we take a piece of release paper or a silicone sheet and we're going to press this for between three and five seconds just to reset the glue to ensure good contact with the garment and there is our completed design.